This video was made possible by audio. Twenty twenty one has been a tough year. The good times, as few as there were, seemed to pass too quickly. And the bad times, in their abundance, still lingers on like a bad hangover. Photography had honestly taken a back seat this year. I was mostly uninspired, to be honest. That isn't to say I didn't enjoy the little time I had on the streets. Part of the reason was because I was shooting with the Fujifilm X100V, an elegant camera that makes you want to capture more memories. But more than just that, it was the film simulations. I've used every film simulation. However, like most Fuji shooters, I end up sticking to a handful as my go-to looks. Today, I'll share with you, in no particular order, five of my most used film simulations and the settings I tweak for each of them. If there was one film simulation that every Fujifilm photographer can appreciate, this would be the one. An old faithful that never fails to deliver, especially in urban settings. Use its stock for a boost in contrast. I personally like to push it a little further to really portray urban grit. This simulation is all about refined subtlety. Astia brings vibrancy and depth to colors without making it too jarring to look at. It's stylized without being too obvious. I love using this simulation either stock or with a bit less contrast. This simulation definitely performs best when there are a lot of colors in the scene. I feel like Pro Negative is one of the more overlooked simulations that deserves more recognition. In my opinion, anytime I want to take photos where I know I want to capture the scene's colors as true to how I remember it as possible, this is my choice. I love the way it renders skin tones, and I always make sure to meter the scene a bit brighter, especially on an overcast day. Nothing says dramatic black and white photos like Acros Red. I love the extra punch in the shadows the Acros simulation gives, and with the red filter, can offer even more drama and noir to your atmospheric scenes.
I tend to push shadows as much as I can and also bring up the highlights, which results in some super contrasty images. This isn't the easiest simulation to use for every scenario, but when the right time calls, there really is nothing that can hold a candle to Velvia. This is my go-to when adverse weather makes colours look dull, flat and lifeless. The extra punch in saturation creates much needed contrast and depth to an otherwise lacklustre image. I pair this simulation with some extra shadow and clarity. So those are the simulations I used the most in 2021. Will I be using the same ones next year? Who knows? But coming up with new recipes is always an exciting process. What were your most used film simulations? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.